Okay, I'm back again, and now is we're here to explain the tag admin menu quickly. So in order to get the tag admin menu up, I'm going to type slash six tag admin. Now, some of these features are available to to you guys. However, um, not all of them are, and though the ones that aren't the ones that actually make changes. Uh, List Games also isn't available to you because we want to choose the amount of information that you see limited uh, because we want to keep all of our test data that's in our database out of reach of your eyes, mainly because if you saw it, it would pollute your eyes and probably just ruin you because of the sheer amount of it that we got and how erroneous it is and how it doesn't relate to anything because it's um, all come from different versions of the same system. Anyway, list players, however, does still work and that's there purely out of convenience without us so we can find out the list of players that are in the current game without having to bring the tag game on you back up. Now, uh, we have five other options in this game, apart from list games and list players, which are pretty um, self-explanatory. My location, which is obvious, uh, will give a more accurate reading as to where we are, rather than the top bar. I'm using Emerald Viewer here, but it should be the same on the normal viewer. Um, Zuma Beach 99.58.36, 99.2, 58.9. So, whenever you walk up to somebody and you try to tag them, at least the system records a more accurate value than the one you're getting. Now, in when you click my location, that's available to you as well. Um, the ones that aren't available to you are New Game, Start Game, Stop Game, and Shuffle Tag. Now, New Game obviously starts a new game. If I click new game, it ends the last game that was running and starts a completely new game but doesn't actually start the game so that you can play in it. The reason for that is so that when we start a new game you can't automatically jump in and start raising hell and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the reason being that we actually want to have some kind of space to have a dialogue with the people that are playing before we actually play the game for our event so we can announce prizes and exactly what's happening 